All right, so let's talk about exhaust. This is the exhaust. And I just finished building it, and you'll see that I've got one muffler, two muffler, some 90 degrees, and I come around. Fuel tanks in the car. Pretty happy about that. Things come along pretty nicely. Now, I've got two mufflers in this thing for a reason. I don't hear very well. I wear hearing aids and I like my car to be somewhat quiet. That way I can hear other cars on the track. That tells me a lot about where they're at and how they're acting. And I really like to know that about my competition. The other thing is, is that I place the mufflers so they're right in the middle of the tunnel. And what that means is that puts the weight in the center of the car. I'm going to carry this weight penalty of having two mufflers, so I may as well try to locate it in a place where it's not going to have a negative impact on the uh, moment of inertia on this car. Finally, I've got right here, you can see using the factory mount locations for this exhaust. And go back here and you can see we've got the mount location back here as well, right? I can't tell you the number of times I've seen cars that the exhaust has come off on. It doesn't make sense, all right? It's dangerous as hell. Uh, a part coming off of a car, if it comes into your windshield, it could be fatal. If you're the guy that builds a car that's such a piece of crap that you have pieces of parts falling off of it and you end up seriously injuring another racer, I really have two words for you and they're not nice. When you build these cars, you have to think about all of this stuff, all right? Locate that exhaust properly. Make sure that it's hung and suspended in there so it really is very stable. I'm pushing the hell out of it. It doesn't move much. You don't want things going off the car. You want things built right. Take the time to do it. And if you can't do it, then by all means, pay somebody to do it. So at any rate, the bottom of the car at this point is pretty much done. And I think we're going to get closer and closer to having this thing out. I've moved my target date back and we are now shooting for mid-September to get this thing on the track. I hope we make it.